So you need to meet two log, three log, four log removal of certain bugs in your water that you're treating. Of course, log just meaning the number of nines. <laughs> if it's two logs, it's two nines, three logs, three nines, seven logs, seven nines, right? So it just gets more and more efficient removal of bugs. But for surface water or goody, groundwater under direct influence of surface water, then we have to follow these treatment requirements. Of course, we need to have coagulation too. So chemically assisted filtration, you'll usually see with this table, it says we need to chemically assisted filtration plus removal of three bugs. So the three bugs we need to remove are cryptosporidium, some people just call crypto, which is that big protozoa, really showed up in the 1990s, a lot of different outbreaks. Um, the second one is Giardia, Lamblia, otherwise known as beaver fever, another protozoan. And the last one is viruses. We treat the big stuff, we treat the little stuff, and then automatically in between we're going to kill the bacteria, which are kind of in between those two sizes. But you have to kind of always remember which one is which, one is which. and the easiest way to remember it is to look at the letters of the alphabet and numbers count to one, two, three, right? Two, three, four, the numbers are getting bigger. Same thing with the letters here, C, G, V. C comes before G, comes before V in the alphabet, they get bigger. So you can always remember the minimum treatment requirements for surface water, because it's two, three, four, C, G, V. So we can do that. But these, this is, these are the, what you need to remove of the bugs. But let's go back and look at the CT tables, because the CT tables, we have to choose what log removal we need. And like, well, if it's two, three, four, why is there 0.5 and 1.5? Let's make a little bit more sense of this, okay? Let's go have a look. So we just have a selection of CT tables here, but you can see that there's different log values that you're choosing for determining your contact time or your concentration, depending on what you're looking at. But, um, and I talked about 234 CGV, right, that we know we need for log removal of viruses. This table here is looking for viruses, right? So we need four log removal. So this is four log removal, we look at that value. But if you're doing chemically assisted filtration, if you're coagulating, if you're filtering, you know, you might be catching some of these things. So it's thinking, well, what kind of, how much are we catching? Like how much less than four log can we get away with? So if you're looking at different uh, treatment technologies, so here's our conventional filtration, which is our, our coagulation and, and filtration. Right, um, then there's different types of things, but most, in most jurisdictions, you're looking at conventional filtration for your water treatment. So for viruses, we get a credit of two. These are removal credits, log removal credits. So for doing regular treatment, we're, we're already removing two log of viruses. So then when we go back to the CT table and we're thinking, okay, we wanna get rid of these viruses, how much chlorine dioxide do we need, et cetera then we only need to look at the two log value, not the four, because we're already getting a credit for two from conventional filtration. So whenever you're trying to meet your two, three, four CGV, make sure you have a look at the procedure for disinfection of drinking water, find out how much credit you give so that you know what value to use in your CT calculation.